Happy Sabbath po mga kapatid. Happy Sabbath. Kayo po ba ay nagkamayan na o nagitian lang? Kamayan naman natin. Ano po? Happy Sabbath, sister. Happy Sabbath, brother. Ba't kayo nahihiya? Oo, kayo may hiya. Happy Sabbath. Ano po? At ma-bless naman sila ng ating handshake ministry. Gaya po ng ating mga uh, ushers. Yeah, welcome. Sa ating pong visitor, welcome kay Joseph Falkulan. Diyan po ba? Brother Joseph, yan. Ano ko ba tumayo? From Camarin Church. Kano'n ka ni Pastor Falkulan? Tito mo. Yeah, siya po'y nakapagsalita dito minsan. Welcome. Ano po? Uh, to our brother right here. Please stand up. Welcome. May please stand up. Welcome. Yeah, no, I haven't written your name, but you are welcome to this church, yeah, brother. At sa ating mga regular visitors, yeah, welcome po sa ating pong pagsamba ngayong umaga. Ngayon po ay July 27, last Sabbath of July. Wow. At papasok na po tayo sa August, next Sabbath. August, September, October, November. Oh, five months na lang. <laughs> 2020 na, ha? Uh, so tayo po ay magalak sa Panginoon ngayong araw ng Sabbath. Dahil po, ito po ang araw na ibinigay para po sa atin. Pagpagpuri at ipagpahinga. Salamat po sa nag-arrange na ating pong flowers. Ito po artificial but uh, artistically arranged para po sa Panginoon na tayo po ma-blessed. Malalahanan ng mga bulaklak sa parang ay kanya pong nilikha. At ngayon po sa ating pong patlak, ang ating host ay Care Group 5, CG5. Sister Ruby, okay ba? Na-remind na po. Yeah, at Care Group 5. At next Sabbath po ay 6 and 7. Yeah, wala Sister Jezebel ah. I-remind na lang natin. Ano po, next Sabbath? Ito po, 6 at 7. Ano po? At tayo po ay nagkakaroon ng mga bisita sa mga Sabbath na minsan ay hindi po natin inakala. Kaya maganda po ay mapaglingkuran po natin sila. Kaya po ba ay may mga announcement? Pakisulat niyo po dito para ma-announce natin. Yan. Ako muna po. Ako muna. Yeah, sa ating midweek service, oh, July 31 na, sabi sa inyo eh. Next week, August na eh. Oh, ito po yung katapusan ng July. Yeah, pumatak po ng Wednesday sa ating pulong panalangin. Yan po yung 7.30. At ang nangunguna dyan ay mga care groups. Kaya nga, ang ating care groups, ang naglilid naman dyan ay ang mga elders. Mga patid, excuse me po. Ano, maingay talaga dito. Hmm. Ako po ay <laughs> uh, na, ano, hindi na makapag-concentrate. Yan. Marahan na salita lang, please. Ano nag-a-announce po, may nag-a-salita sa harapan. Yan. Care group o oh, seven sa youth yan. O, oh, ito. Patigyan nyo po para alam po natin ang seven. Kaya pag minsan sa group chat, di po natin alam yung ating activity, si announcement. O, oh, desire of ages. Justin. Justin, wala si Trisha. Total, sa council ka naman. Pakitake note nyo po yan. Yan, para di po tayo nakapapatlangan. Chapter 31. O, sa Wednesday yan. Uh, at Desire of Ages, ito po yung maraming chapter. Kaya nga, care groups, tayo po ay huwag manawa na sa rotation dahil ito naman po ay naipaglilingkod po natin sa mga kapatiran. Yan, so, sa midweek yan. Sa Vesper po, ganun din. Sa regular service ng ating pong church. Sa ating Children for Heaven, Uh, muli po natin pinopromote ito. Ito po nag-start noong July 6. Yeah, ito po yung continuous po nating nais gawin, panalangin sa Diyos. Ang topic po niyan, ang, ang theme ay creations. Yeah, sa Children's Shelter. 10.15, yeah, magagather na sila. Ages 6 to 12. Kaya kung niyo po mga anak ay edads, ani magang labing dalawa, ano po, encourage po natin na pumunta po doon sa itaas, sa Children's Shelter. Meron po silang sarili po doon pagsamba. Yan. Pagsamba. Uh, encourage po natin, mga magulang. Sila po ay sumasabay sa ating divine service. Yan. So sila po ay may sarili po doon. Ang topic po nila yan, hanggang December yan, creations. May module po tayo sinusundan dyan. Bigay po yan ng Central Luzon Conference. Yung module na sinusundan. Kaya tayo po ay ginaguide. Yan, ng ating pong mga Children's Council. So makita po natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa ating mga bata ay ayaw po nating pabayaan sila. 
Kaya po meron ganitong paglilingkod. So sila po doon ay naka-aircon, sila po ay nag-request ng sound system, yung sa jail po pala ay nakapastor. Ay si Pastor po lito ay two sabats nang wala. Ano, nalimutan ko pong sabihin, siya po yung nasa Laguna kasi po yung lola ni Sister Alma ay hindi pa po na ililibing. Yan, bukas pa lang po. Kaya si Pastor po, ay dito po mamaya. Darating naman siya sa hapon. Yan, so sound system at ang kanya po request ay TV din. Yan, so mamaya na lang hapon sa business meeting. Oh, mga magulang, yan, children's, children for heaven. At sa ating Family Life Ministry, reminder muli, yan, ito yung reminder lamang, huwag niyo po ibigay kung kaninong tao, i-direction niyo po sa envelope natin. Yan, family shirt at saka ay, yung ating booklet na ipanimigay ng Hope Impact. Again, ano po, ito po ay galing sa fund ng personal ministry. At kung hindi po natin ibabalik, yan, magdi-deficit po ang PM. Magdi-deficit. Ang ating po ginasto sa t-shirt, How much? Sa Hope Impact na booklet ay ilang copies yun, Sister G? Yung sa booklet? 300? 200 times 15? 200 times 15? Engineer? 200 times 15? 200 times 15? Ha? O, 3,000? Oo. So, pag di po natin ibalik yung ating kinumit, kinumit naman natin yan eh. O, lagay po natin sa ating tithes and offering envelope. Yan, lagay niyo po PM, tsaka yung magkano yan, kung ilan nakuha niyong booklet, 15 pesos yan. Kung kayo nakakuha ng dalawa, di 6.30. T-shirt, 150 yun. Malaki-laki yan. <laughs> Kaya kung di po natin mabayaran, ano po, ay gawin po natin. At tsaka yung total. Ha? Kasi magdi-deficit po ang PM natin. Personal ministry. Doon po kinuha yan ng mga fan. O, reminder lang. Pangalawa na po itong reminder sa atin. Next po sa ating church business meeting, mamaya po yan, alas dos hanggang alas cinco. Uh, department leaders to present accomplished and upcoming program or ministry. Uh, sa manual, mga kapatid, ano po, sa manual, meron lamang isa at least one business meeting. Ano po? So, it, it, pwede naman natin gawin dalawa. Middle at saka end. Pero since January, ngayon pa lang. Kaya atin tayo. Alas dos. Oh, Mag-present po ng report. Kayo po ay mayroong opportunity na makapagtanong, makapagbigay ng suggestion sa mga department. Kaya meron pong ganitong binigay na manual na atin pong gawain para sa mga local members. Yan. Para po sa inyo. Kasi iba naman yung church board members, ang business meeting, mas makapangyarihan po yan sa church board. Kaya kung meron kami pinreset na programa at disapprove sa inyo, wala kayong magagawa. <laughs> kung di sumunod sa inyo, Bada Jerry. O, yun ang sa manual. Ha? Yun ang sa manual. Kaya nga, you have a voice sa ganito pong meeting. Attend po tayo. 2 o'clock hagang 5. Kasi si pastor ay aalis, babalik ulit sa sabi niya Laguna. Para po doon sa lamay nung mahal nila sa buhay. Kaya tayo po ay dapat na sa oras mamaya, hapon. Next po ay Youth Night. Kailan po ito, mga kabataan? Bukas? O mamayang gabi. Ang nakita ko sa registration, labing lima lang dito ah, sa CAA. Ang a-attend. Tama ba yon? Yung number, 15? Oh, 15. Yung mga youth dito, wala akong nabasa. Yung banda dito. <laughs> oh, youth night, ito po ay Area 10. Oh, kasama dyan ang district ng Paranaque, Las Piñas, Montilupa. Ano ba? Tapos na, no? Las Piñas, Tagi, Las Piñas. Oh. Oh, area 10. Yan po yan sa Mapayapa, Covered Court. Alas 6. Alas 6 ng gabi. 50 pesos yung kanilang registration. Yeah, love lifted me. Tonight yan. Tonight, 6 to 10. O yung mga kababaihan, kalalakihan, ha? magsuot ng naayon. Yan. Ano po? Walang maikling shorts, tsaka tight. Ano po? Yung presentable. Ano po nakasuotan? Mga kabataan. Tonight po yan. Pagkatapos humakate ng business meeting, ano po? Alas 6 pa naman yan. O, punta tayo. Si Manfred ba yan? 
Kaya ba ito mayo, Manfred? Parang di ko na mukaan eh. Po. Siya po ay dito galit, dating kabataan dito. Yan. Si Manfred pala dito. Welcome! Lumamayang gabi po ito. Brother Manfred, pwede, pwede ka pa ba dyan? Pwede ka pa dyan? Hanggang 35 years old lang ito eh. Lumamayang gabi po yan tonight. And lastly, ito pong ating uh, report sa ating collection last Sabbath, July 20, 2019. Ano po? Sa tights. Yan. Last Sabbath, ito po ay nasa 56 lang. Ano? Pero makita niyo po yung ating uh, ano po, parang nalapi ay paiba-iba. Yan. Praise the Lord that meron po tayong ganyan total. 1, 2, 5, 8, 4, 6, 4, 7, 5 because of these numbers. Sa tights, sa mission funds, sa so one offering, um, 18, 20, less than 20% yung offering natin, mga kapatid, ha? Sir Cheryl. Ang laki ng tights natin, yan, kita nyo yung one offering. Yan, less than 20 yan. Kasi 9, 10, 18. 20% dapat 18 eh. <laughs> Tama po ba? O oh, yan. Ang effect niyan, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, ay doon sa pumapasok ng mga department. department. Yan, sa church building, sa church fund, sa Sabbath school, Sa Sabbath School, yung lesson po natin, na-promote po natin, lagay nyo lang doon ay SS lesson. Sa personal ministry, sa music, sa children, sa jail, care group for women's, sulads. La Sabbath po tayo pinakapag-collect. Ito hindi regular. Special lang ito na offering. Sa sulads na 874.75. Ibinigay na rin natin ito ng Sabado ng hapon. Yan. Kaya ang total collection natin ay 1258.46.75. Mga patid, nabantayan nyo po yan, yung tithes sa offering. Pag lumalaki po gap niyan, Yan, ang mag-suffer po niya na yung local church. Because we have caretaker, we have utilities, we have 16 departments dun sa 17,000 na maghahati. Yan, so yan na napunta dun. Kaya nga, planned giving, planned. Pag magpaplano ka ng tithes, iplano mo rin yung offering. Ha, huwag basta dukot lagay. Ano po, para nakakasabay po. Kasi malaking church sa tayo. Malaking church. So yung less than 20%, Ang target natin, 40. Mada Janil, yung pinapromote natin, 40%. At, at that amount, yan. Tapos mag aircon tayo. Paano na? <laughs> ah, Sister Medina? Diba? So, so yun po yun. Kaya atin pong patuloy na pinapromote ang one offering. Papatid, salamat po sa inyong uh, suporta sa ating mga programa. Mamaya pong hapon, yan, magkakaroon po tayo na patuloy na presentation Alas dos sa ating church business meeting. Kaya naman po tayo ay maka-attend. This is our prayer this morning na tayo po ma-blessed. Ano po, makapagsamba sa Panginoon Diyos na may kaligayahan at maging kaaya-aya sa Kanya pong harapan. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Okay. Let us sing, come Christians join to sing hymn number 10.
Purihin ang Diyos sa umagang ito sapagkat ang Diyos ay mabuti. Amen? Amen. Sapagkat ang Diyos ay tapat, ang kanyang katapatan ay dakila, at ang Diyos ay buhay, ang Diyos na ating sinasambat, pinaglilingkuran, ay Diyos na siyang may likha ng ating buhay. At marapat lamang na ating ipagkaloob, ibigay sa Kanya ang pinakamataas na antas ng pagsamba at paglilingkod sapagkat utang natin sa lahat, ah, sa Kanya, ang lahat-lahat sa atin. Sa umagang ito ay nagagala ko sapagkat tayo ay narito ngayon, tayo ay handang sumamba, pumuri sa ating Panginoong Diyos at idalangin natin na ang pagsambang ito ay maging kalugod-lugod, katanggap-tanggap at banal sa harapan ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Ang lalaking titindig sa ating harapan mamaya ay lalaking galing sa ating uh, pamantasan, sa ating uh, uh, pamantasan ng uh, eskwilahan natin, ang AUP, ang Adventist University of the Philippines. Siya po ay nag, naglilingkod doon, doon sa tinatawag na ICTS Department. E ang kanyang ang kanyang gawain doon, sangayon sa kanyang ID na na, aking, na pinakita niya sa akin ay Systems Administrator. Sabi ko, anong ibig sabihin noon? Basta sabi niya, tagabantay ng computer. Pero alam, alam niyo mga kapatid, alam ko naman na alam niyo ang ibig kong sabihin. Okay? At siya ay naglilingkod doon mula noong taong 2000 hanggang ngayon. Siya ay mahilig maglingkod at naglilingkod sa media ministry. Siya po ay single pa, siya ay pinanganak sa Baisa, subalit siya ay lumaki sa ngayon sa kanya doon sa Naga View College. Doon sa 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 Bicol. Ano po? At siya ay nagtapos ng uh, Comsai sa Adventist University of the Philippines taong 1999 at siya ngayon ay may edad na apat na po. Ang lalaking ginagamitin ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay walang iba kundi si Brother Win G. Pasamba. Magkaingay kayo na may kagalakan sa Panginoon kayong lahat na lupain. Mga glingkod kayo na may kasayahan sa Panginoon. Magsilapit kayo sa kanyang harapan na may awitan. Alamin ninyo na ang Panginoong Diyos, Siya ang lumalang sa atin at tayo'y sa Kaniya. Tayo'y Kanyang bayan at mga tupa ng Kanyang pastulan. Magsipaso kayo sa Kanyang mga pintuang daan na may pagpapasalamat at sa Kanyang looban na may pagpupuri. Mangagpasalamat kayo sa Kaniya at purihin ninyo ang Kanyang pangalan sapagkat ang Panginoon ay mabuti, ang Kanyang kagandahang loob ay magpakailanman at ang Kanyang pagtatapat ay sa lahat ng salit-saling lahi. Pagpalain ang mga salitang ito sa ating mga puso, manahanawa sa ating kalagitnaan ang katahimikan, at ganun din ang presensya ng banal na Espiritu.
Holy, holy, holy. Father in heaven, we come to you, Lord. We ask that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please send the Holy Spirit, Lord, these hours as we study your word so that it may change our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee.
Before we kneel down in prayer, I'd like to read Isaiah 8.20. Isaiah 8.20, bilang sentro po ng ating pag-aaral sa umagang ito. Sa kautosan at sa patotoo, kung hindi sila magsalita ng ayon sa salitang ito, tunay na walang umaga sa kanila. Tayo po'y marahang lumhod at tayo po'y mananalangin. Our most high God in heaven, we kneel down, Lord, this morning in our prayer to show reverence and awe before thy presence. Because we are calling the name of God, who is the author and owner of all things, great nor small, seen nor unseen in heaven and on earth. And by thy mighty hands and by thy words, all were made. And through thy love, Lord, you made us and you formed us according to thy likeness, according to thy character. And you have given the Sabbath, you made the Sabbath for man and not man for Sabbath. You have rested, blessed it, and sanctified it, hallowed it, Lord. And we are following before thy example and footsteps of praising God and honoring you in our midst today. We thank you, Lord, so much for the blessings we receive not only in material things, money, or any other, but because of the bountiful love and blessings you have given to us the past week, na naranasan po namin, O Diyos, ang iyong care, ang iyong love and protection towards us from any accident, from any harm and danger, and keeping us away, Father, from any serious illnesses. Maybe, Lord, we have a light sickness this morning, cough, colds, fever, but praise thee, O Lord, because thy healing hand ay amin pong mararanasan sa umagang ito. In faith and in prayer, we praise you, Lord, because you will heal us physically and most especially spiritually. Through thy servant whom you have sent, Brother Winfred Pasamba. Thank you, Lord, sa kanya pong time at sa kanya pong pag-aaral na yung salita sa Isaiah 820 upang bigyang buhay ang salitang ito at tumanggap po kami na pagkain na mula sa kalangitan na ikatatatag po na aming pananampalataya habang kami patuloy po naglalakbay at naghihintay sa iyong ikalawang pagparito. Maging kalagayahan namin, Panginoon Diyos, sa makinig sa iyong salita, ang makinig sa iyong awit through the church choir, at magbalik, Panginoon Diyos, ng tamang ikaw po, ng tamang handog, maging kasayahan po namin lahat po ng aming gagawin sa umagang ito. Dahil kami ito ay aming ipagsasamba sa pangalan ni Jesus na siya pong puno ng pag-ibig at puro po na pagliligtas sa bawat isa po sa amin. Maranasan po namin sa aming kalagitnaan ang kapayapaan at ang pangunawa ng bawat isa amin po maranasan. Ito po ang aming samasamang dalangin, alang-alang sa pangalan ni Yesus. Amen.
Happy Sabbath po. Uh, pwedeng padrag nung itong browser. Padrag pa ganun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Tayo po ay manalangin. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we praise the Lord for the nice Sabbath day for my brothers and sisters who have come to worship you these very hours. We ask that you send your Holy Spirit, Lord, to possess me as I speak your word to your children, Lord. Lead me, Lord, and guide me. I don't know their needs, where they are in their spiritual life, so I fully depend on you, Lord, to feed your flock. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers and for being with us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, maraming salamat po. Uh, ako ay natutuwang makarating sa inyong church. Nasaan na yung aking mouse? Ayan. Anong browser ba ito? Ito ba yung... Okay. Ayan. Uh, <clears throat> sa, uh, usually po, sa unang beses po ako nakakapag-speaker sa... Oh, by the way, does anybody have a hard time understanding Tagalog? Okay. Does anybody... Ha is anybody having a hard time understanding English? So, anong sasabihin... Uh, I will speak in English and you will listen in uh, gift of hearing and the gift of tongues. Okay, I will just mix. I will read in English. I will explain in Tagalog. Is that okay, sir? Okay. The first time usually I speak in a church, I go through the fundamental beliefs uh, because we don't remember ev actually everything always. We are forgetful people and we want to make sure that I am an Adventist. Diba? So... We will just go through and we will ask the Holy Spirit to guide us in the parts where it needs emphasis or reminders because we know we are forgetful people. Ayan po. So we believe in the Holy Scriptures. Yeah, thank you, sir. Ayan. We believe in the Holy Scriptures, the Old and New Testaments. The Bible is the basis of everything that we are doing. And our uh, scripture reading a while ago is uh, Isaiah 8.20. It is one of my favorite Bible texts. It says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Uh, there's supposed to be something that comes out here. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Dali lang po ah. Yun. Isaiah 8.20. Marami atang virus ito. Okay, anyway, Isaiah 8.20 is the basis really of all our beliefs. It says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. I want to underline the word according. And uh, for example, oh, by the way, I want to introduce myself a little bit as the uh, as I was introduced, I grew. I was born in PUC uh, Baeza. My parents were working students there before. When they get married, they're also in the church. Uh, we were in, they were employed in Naga View. I grew up there in Mount Isarog in our school in PUC Naga View. When I graduated high school, my parents transferred to PUC, and I finished college there, and I worked there until now. 
my parents transferred to Thailand as missionaries for eight years and they transferred to Africa for two years and they are retired now. My brother is working at IAS, I'm at AUP. My job is to watch computers. Bantay ng computer. Okay, so Isaiah 820, I want to underline the word according. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. In Tagalog, it is ayon. Ayon, according. Uh, for example, I say, uh, after I preach, I am going to sukat. Ah, hindi pala. I am going to AUP. But Brother Eli says, after Serwin preached daw, Brother Eli nga ba? Pupunta daw siya, he is going to sukat daw. My question is, is that a contradiction? Magka, magka anong direction ba yun? Is that a contradiction? It's a different direction, right? <clears throat> but if uh, our elders here says, after he preaches, he is going to Alabang. Is that a contradiction? No. Because I can pass through Alabang and go to AUP, right? But my question is, is it according? Is that what I exactly said? Not exactly, right? It's not a contradiction, but it's not what I said. Because what Isaiah 8.20 is saying is, it has to be according to this word. So that's how we believe the Bible. All our fundamental beliefs are, should be according to this word. If it is not advertised or promoted or uh, taught in the Bible, we do not do it. We do not teach it. It has to be very strictly according to this word. For example, baptism, child, uh, infant baptism. Have you seen a text in the Bible that says you cannot baptize infants? Who has read the whole Bible here? Have you seen a verse, thou shalt not baptize infants? Why don't we do it? Because it is not according. It is not prohibited, but because it is not according, we don't spend time doing it. Because it has, there is no light in them. Isaiah 20 is very strict. It has to be according to this word. So all the fundamental beliefs, everything that we are doing in church has to be according to the Bible. There are 33,100 plus verses in the Bible which God says we should do and we should follow. If we have our own ideas, what are we saying? That uh, our own ideas are better than the Bible? So that's what uh, our filter in our beliefs and our practices. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And in my observation, all of these fundamental beliefs are according. For example, the Trinity, the word is not there. But it's an idea that the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all there. Immortal, all-powerful, and etc. So we baptize in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. We also believe in God the Father. Ayan. We also believe in Jesus Christ, the Son who became, oh, God the Son who became Jesus Christ, our example, and, uh, and our example in righteousness. We also believe in the Holy Spirit. There is a very nice book by, uh, who is the author? I forgot. The greatest need of Adventism, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Actually, personally, friends, sometimes my mouse is not working. Personally, I think I know more the Holy Spirit than the Son and the Father. I don't know why. Maybe because Jesus Christ went away and he said, I will send the Holy Spirit to comfort you, to be your comforter. Anyway... The Holy Spirit also is extending spiritual gifts, giving us uh, kinokonsensya tayo, pag tayo ay mali, etc. And we believe in creation. We were created in literal six days. That's why the Bible says, in, and there was evening, and there was morning, and there was evening, and there was morning, and there was evening, and there was morning. I have w always wondered why do have they have to repeat the morning and evening. 
that means it is emphasized that there is literal days. Kasi kung generations yan, or 1,000 years, why is the evening and the morning there? Okay, we did not come from monkeys. We were created perfect, but because of sin, the creation was marred. And God created very good. Our nature, we were created in the image of God. Sometimes, uh, have you heard of UFO? Have you heard of aliens? Uh, actually, do you think aliens are bigger than us or we are smaller than aliens? I don't know what is this. But if all the other worlds were created by God also, Suguru, they are still 15 feet and 12 feet. But we from Earth, we are uh, small. Six feet na lang tayo because we are stubborn people. We ate the fruit, the forbidden fruit. But because God of because of uh, the plan of salvation, God will restore us, reconcile us to Himself, and His Spirit restores penitent mortals. Yan. We believe that sin started in the heart of Satan. <clears throat> Satan said to his angels, Since we were created perfect, why do we need the law? Oh, ang galing mang loko ni Satanas. When we were created perfect, why do we need to obey the law? According to, say, to Lucifer. So he deceived one third of the angels. Sino ang mas marami? Yung masama o yung mabuti? Sino ang mas maraming angel? Yung masama o mabuting angel? Okay, there are more good angels, twice as much good angels than bad angels. How many worlds fell into sin? Only one. Tayo lang, di ba? According to Ellen White, tayo yung the three, the forbidden three in the other worlds, hindi pa nila nalapitan. Tayo lang dito ang nalapitan natin yung forbidden three. Anyway, we know who will win. The great controversy, it is Jesus and his Angels. Yan. Okay, we, we already know who will win the great controversy. Jesus Christ actually lived those atheists. They don't believe in the Bible. But if you go to the Middle East, you have plenty of money. You go there, you will see uh, the pyramids, those things that relate to the Bible. And there is proof that Jesus Christ really lived. In fact, today is... August, uh, August na ba July. July 27, 2019. 2019 from where? 2019 from the time of Jesus Christ when uh, as estimate Jesus Christ was around. So the calendar itself tells that there is this thing about Jesus Christ. He lived, he died as a propitiation for our sins and he resurrected himself. If he can resurrect himself, he can also resurrect us. That's why we want to be in Jesus Christ's team. Ayan. Never mind yung mga ano. If other people claim loyalty, claim your loyalty and contradict what God is saying, don't be loyal to them. Because when they die, they cannot resurrect you. But when Jesus died, he resurrected himself. And if we die, and we die with him, in him, in the faith, he can resurrect us later. That's why that's the logic of uh, the great controversy. And the number 10 is experience of salvation. This is the most favorite belief because all of us benefit from this. Even though our sins be as scarlet, he shall make them, he will make them as white as snow. You know, Moses, <clears throat> when Moses, uh, do you remember Moses? He killed somebody in Egypt, right? But even if he killed somebody, the Lord allowed him to carry the Ten Commandments in Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not uh, kill. You're, you know, Paul or Saul, he killed, he persecuted so many Christians. But because God changed him, he wrote almost half of the New Testament. So no matter how many people we have persecuted, or how many sins we have done, God can still use us to win others to Christ. Amen? And I believe, and the Bible says, and the spirit of prophecy says also, that everybody has a part in saving, helping save others. This is the most new 
fundamental belief, growing in Christ. Uh, half of this means that we should not be afraid uh, with demonic spirits because because uh, Romans 8, 20, 38 to 39 says, For I am not afraid, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, can separate me from the love of God. So we should not be afraid of multo or aswang or evil spirits because they are afraid of Jesus Christ. The other half of this belief says that we should continue feeding on his word, meditating on it, and singing praises, coming to church for worship, and participating in the mission of the church. Yan. And we also believe in the church. Everybody who believes in Jesus Christ is part of the church. This is easy. The next one, we are remnant. If you study the history, the prophecy, there are many remnants, and we are the remnant uh, who keep the commandments of God, have, have the testimony of Jesus Christ, but we have a mission. Our mission is evangelism. We are united, different kinds of people, old, young, different colors, different background. Because Jesus Christ is the head and we are the branches. Okay, baptism according to the Bible, we do baptism according to the Bible. And according to the Bible, we do Lord's Supper also. We be humble, we investigate our own selves and spiritual gifts and ministries. Yan. Some people are good in singing. Oh, by the way, thank you, choir. You have very nice choir, heavenly music here. Your church is very nice also. Praise the Lord. Only the road is not nice. <laughs> but it's becoming nicer. Don't worry, in heaven, there will be gold road. Okay, no problem. Spiritual gifts and ministries, some people are good in uh, many things. Ayan. Reconciliation, teaching, pastoral. Everybody has a role in saving other people. You just pray to God every morning. You know I, what I do, friends, brothers and sisters. E every morning I pray to God, Lord, what do you want me to do today? And then God gives an assignment, very interesting assignment, which is not so hard to do. Sometimes it's hard. But it's very rewarding experience. And when I finish all the things I'm doing in my work, I also pray to God, Lord, what am I going to do? I finished already. I'm not doing anything. And God gives an idea. And it's very nice to do God's will. It's like God is your boss. Next is we have the gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy has been given since uh, Genesis. And it will be there while the church is there. And... Do you know that all of you are prophets, in a sense? Because the word Adventist is in your name. Adventist means you are looking forward to the second coming. The name itself is prophetic. It says that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Diba? So, pag tinawag tayong Seventh-day Adventist, it is a part of prophecy. But do you also know that in the Old Testament, the prophet who prophesies unbiblical things, the punishment is death. That's why we should be careful what we teach. We should only teach what is according to the Bible. I am the gift of prophecy. And there are major prophets. They are minor prophets in the Bible. Yung Isaiah, Jeremiah, they wrote so many things. They are major prophets. Yung Jonah, those smaller prophets. But in the last days, there is a major, major, major prophet, Ellen White, who wrote more than what is in the Bible. Yan. <clears throat> of course, the Bible tests the prophet, the gift of prophecy. If there are things that are difficult to understand in the spirit of prophecy, there are also things that are difficult to understand in the Bible. And I have observed and I heard from our scholars in Ayas that the solution to difficult to understand passages in the Bible is the same solution how to understand difficult passages in Ellen G. White. I was so happy when I realized. And the solution is very simple. You have to read everything. If you find one verse very hard to understand, you read everything else and you balance everything with Genesis to Revelation. And then you will understand. You, will understand. you cannot make a theology out of one verse or two verses. You have to read the whole 
literature. Okay, that's the comment of uh, my friend from BRI. Next, the law of God. This is our favorite Adventist. Memorize all the commandments from 1 to 10. But, okay, nandito na tayo. Jesus said, It is written, Thou shalt not kill. But I say unto you, If you say bad words to your brother, you will be in danger of judgment. So Jesus Christ expounds the Ten Commandments. He said, Furthermore, it is written, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, He that looketh on a woman with lust committed adultery with her in his heart. Who commits adultery? The woman or the one who is looking? Looking? Raise your hand, please. Looking? Or the woman? Or both? Oh, both. Because can you commit adultery alone? Oh. With her, in her heart. With means you who is looking and also the one who is displaying uh, unnecessary things. Correct? So be careful. Let's just... Uh, but I was observing our ladies. Uh, there is no uh, shortage of clothes here. <laughs> I think your elders and your officers have uh, invited speakers to scold you already. So I don't need to scold. Furthermore, it is further written, Thou shalt not steal. Ito hindi to sabi ni Jesus. But I say unto you, do not use pirated software. Do not use pirate. Do not pirate movie. Do not pirate uh, Bible ano yun? Bible story. Oh, yung pirating software, pirating movies, MP3 is very hard to understand. But if you relate it to your friends who are literature evangelists, now you understand. Do not pirate health and home, Bible story. Don't photocopy it because kawawa naman yung mga LE, right? Anyway, Ellen G. White in the book, Counsels to Editors and Writers, in the chapter, Author's Stewardship says that we have to respect copyright law. Yan. Because she also is a writer. That's why we pay for great controversy, right? Okay, that's the law of God. And the Sabbath. Okay, this is where most of I'm, I'm going to spend most of my time. But let me just set up. Okay, let me introduce what I'm going to say. I'm going to uh, emphasize a lot on the Sabbath because the Sabbath will be uh, one of the greatest tests in the last days. Do you agree? Ellen White says one of the... Oh, before I say, this is very hard. So I'm going to try to pray that uh, the Lord will guide me how I'm going to say it. Uh, the Sabbath will be greatest test. There are many rules in the Bible about the Sabbath. There are rules that God gave to Moses. There are also rules that the Pharisees invented. But you cannot find them here. Huwag kang lumakad ng masyadong malayo. Huwag kang magbukas ng pinto. Huwag kang sumakay ng escalator. Do not walk too far. Those things are not according to God. The Pharisees invented them as policies to help keep the Sabbath holy. Those are the things which Jesus says, you are making the Sabbath a burden and not a delight. Because you are teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. That's why when Jesus went to the field to pick up grain, they said, you are disobeying. Why do you make the... Okay, so it's okay to pick up grain. Because Jesus did it. What do we do on the Sabbath? Things that Jesus did in the Sabbath. What don't we do? Uh, things that we don't supposed to do. Work that Jesus did not do, we cannot do on the Sabbath, right? 
Jesus walked on the Sabbath, so it's okay to walk also, right? Jesus picked up food on the Sabbath, it's okay to pick up food. So there is a delineation between what the Pharisees say and what the Lord says, thus saith the Lord clearly. Ellen G. White says that uh, when Jesus says, when the Lord says, do not do these things, and there is a punishment for death, it is very serious that nobody should change it. You agree? For example, somebody commits adultery. They stone the woman and the man. But now, we don't stone anymore. Does that mean that it is not adultery anymore? No, it is still adultery. The punishment might have changed or might have been delayed later, but sin is still sin. Same thing with the Sabbath. Things that we are not supposed to do in the Sabbath are still, ganun pa rin yung nasa Bible. And if you read the Bible, the Bible says ganto. You read the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of prophecy says the same thing. You read official statements voted by the general conference, and you read the same thing, then it is probably true, di ba? But I'm going to tell you something very hard, which most of us forgot or failed to do. Can you guess? I'm very, I'm having a hard time to go into the matter, but because, okay, let me ask you, friends, do you want the truth straight from the Bible, the SOP and Adventist.org official, or do you want to give me examples first so that it will be easy for you to follow? Bible first or examples first? Who wants Bible first? Who wants example first? Ah, many people want example first. Okay, sorry, uh, Bible people. Because when I say the Bible, SOP, and Adventist.org, they are all official, and I see the brethren, they become stressed. We want to obey, but we don't know how. So I'm going to go to the examples first, so that you know how to do it, and then we will read what is in the Bible, SOP. So it's easier. Now I will request the... I cannot see what's in the screen. Pwede bang babaan resolution nito? <coughs> Pakiclick sir yung 55 examples na Yan, 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 yan. Oh! I was wondering what sticker pala yun ng TV yung nandun. Okay. So, cla ah, class, sorry, sorry. So, friends, I have listed here 55 tips on how to avoid cooking on the Sabbath. You know what, uh, what I'm up to, right? But I don't worry about the theology first. You worry, we will worry about the examples. Number one, Unclub University. Sabi nila on 2014, I was there in the International Students Conference in IAS. Accidentally, I just went there. Sabi ng president, we cook our viand before the Sabbath. Sabi ko, how can they do that? There was an African lady there from Thailand as a missionary. What is the problem with you Asians? Why can't you cook your rice also before the Sabbath? And in my mind, I was wondering, the Indonesians know it. The African woman in working in Thailand knows it. How come we Filipinos don't know it? So I just listened. And after several weeks, the same year, the SSD Associate Ministerial Secretary was preaching on the Sabbath. He said, he actually, he was just quoting the official website. He said, preparation of food should be done before the sundown on Friday. And then after several weeks, my former teacher from Naga View told me that one of, our fellow, one of her fellow teachers, Mam Abla, was able to cook everything in the cafeteria as a missionary in another country before the Sabbath, and they just store it underground. And then one day, I went to Putingkahoy, went there, Sadul said her, his grandparents can avoid cooking on the Sabbath by cooking ahead of time. And in our house, my mother cooks most of the time, uh, most of the things before the Sabbath. Although these things are not perfect examples, but they help give us examples what to do. <clears throat> According to one cafeteria in, an, in one Adventist institution, they said, if we have enough refrigerator, we can cook everything. According to light missionary Jacob, 
Bayona, they just uh, eat bread, fruits, granolas during the Sabbath. Sabi niya, hanggang Sunday pa daw. According to Kuya Jun, lumingkit, they use dayami on Friday. And then according to a uh, Jewish website, they use slow cooker. According to Dandizon, they prepare all food on Friday and they are not late to go to church. Oh, do you know why people are late to come to church? They are still cooking. According to Jerry Tulod, he says fasting na lang daw. Oh. This one I tried this. Not because I was avoiding cooking, but as an experiment. I will tell you my testimony. I was dry I like to drive students who want to go outreach. And I observed them. Some of them, they don't eat on the lunch, Sabbath. I said, why don't you eat on lunch? Sir, because we are fasting. Oh, really? Let me experiment also with fasting. So from that time on, sir, I tried to experiment. I'm not serious. I'm just experimenting. I tried to experiment not eating on uh, noon, uh, Sabbath morning at noon. I will eat a sunset na lang. You know what happened? Of course, you get headache. <laughs> but you just sleep. And then you wake up, you do missionary work again. You forget your hunger. Anyway, I did not die. <laughs> it's an experiment. So, you know what happened, friends? I'm not a pastor. I'm not a theologian. But after I did that for one semester or one year, I was able to do two crusades. And I was praying to help do church planting. I was able to help plant two churches also. And everywhere I go, even if I'm not assigned speaker, they see me, oh, you are the speaker. I actually got tired of my sermons. <laughs> so I was wondering, uh, nothing changed in me, but I think when you fast, God puts you into many ministries. And all the ministries I was helping, they really become successful. And I was so tired in helping many ministries. You know, you get tired also. And I said, let me stop this fasting. And the crusade stopped also. Church planting stopped also. Speaker, instead of almost every other Sabbath, I'm a divine sp speaker, speaker, once a, year, a semester, a speaker na lang. Everything stopped or slowed down. So I proved from my experiment that fasting somehow works. I don't know why, but you can experiment by yourself. So now I stopped st uh, fasting. Anyway, Jesus also did not fast forever. He started to eat after 40 days, right? So there is a time to fast and a time to eat also. But accidentally, I did not cause anybody to cook in the Sabbath because I was fasting. So that's one of the solutions. Ryan James Jimenez says, let's eat fresh vegetables and fruits. Mike Jeven Rivera says, uh, many of his churches oh, use the cloth. Joy O says, uh, you need a ref. Many churches, they also avoid washing dishes. Oh, that one is not in the Bible, but it's in the spirit of prophecy, avoid washing dishes. But some churches, they use the uh, wax paper or the paper plate. In one church, ayan. <clears throat> Sabi ni Charlie Aros Vidal, my father-in-law did not cook Sabbath for almost 28 years. And 20% of our church practiced that. And then my auntie, uh, later, said, your grandfather also is very strict with that. So I said, tinuro naman pala ng missionaries dito sa Pilipinas. Akala ko nakalimutan nila ituro sa atin. That's why no, none of us know. But the foreigners know. In Angola, I have a friend who is Angolan, Ayas Kabasa. Sabi niya, if you need to cook on the Sabbath in Angola, you are a Seventh-day Adventist, you have to hide. Because all of them know that you should not be cooking on the Sabbath. By the way, do you know that in one place in Angola, there is mana? on the Sabbath, you already know, right? If you don't know, you can Google Mana SID Angola. SID is, uh, we are in SSD. They are in SID. You just Google Mana SID Angola and you will see the report of the Hope Channel there and their documentation in Signs of the Times. The Sabbath that Moses was keeping is also the Sabbath that we are keeping, amen? The secretary of the president, when she heard about this, she said, I will just cook kamote and salad and put it in the ref. But I said, Mom, uh, the SOP says it is not good to eat cold food. 
we should warm. She said, I will just leave it in the car. <laughs> when noon comes, it will become warm. Oh. There is a saying in Tagalog, kung may akong, ano yun? Kung ayaw, maraming. Kung gusto, maraming. Oh, in English, uh, please translate na lang. If you want to do something, there are many ways of doing it. If you don't want, there are many excuses. Okay, that's the rough translation. According to Elmon Rodrigo, say, they said there was a caterer who really decided not to cook on the Sabbath and their food multiplied miraculously in Cebu. According to Mark, he says the businessman says they ill. Oh, by the way, now we have a question. Pwedeng magpainit, pero hindi pwedeng magluto. Ano ang difference ng pagpainit at sa kapagluto? <clears throat> Yung rice cooker namin, pag Sabado, ayaw kong pindutin. Kasi cook yun eh, pag pinindot mo. Yung microwave namin meron din, cook at saka defrost. Pag Sabado, yung defrost lang, ang simple-simple lang naman ang sabi ng Diyos, do not cook! Eh, mahirap bang sundin yun? Binigyan na nga tayo ng buhay, etc., etc. Very simple test. By the way, this is one of the most difficult tests you will ever encounter in your life. Because Sabbath is the biggest test, right? And Ellen G. White says, food is one of the most difficult to overcome. Diba? Si Ellen G. White received the, the health message. Only after 30 years, siya naging vegetarian. Kahit si Ellen White mismo. Pag kinumbay ng food at Sabbath, Sabbath cooking yan. Ang hirap. Kaya, huwag nyo na akong batuhin mamaya pag alis ko. But I will just help you. I, that's why I collected examples. <clears throat> so, when we read the official statements, I will the, the, the heating and the cooking will be resolved. Paano yung paligligo? Oh, wala naman dito sa Bible, wag maligo. Ellen White says, you take bath before the sunset. But if you read the literature, Pastor Brian forwarded, Brian Tolentino, forwarded to me some quotations. Ellen White took a bath after the preaching. Saturday, uh, Friday night, she took a bath. Sabbath noon, she took a bath. So, it's okay about the taking a bath. Pwede pa tayong maligo. <laughs> Kasi naligo din si Ellen White. <clears throat> and yung Unclub University said, Sir, I found them in one of the International Research Conference. Sabi ko, Sir, how do you do that? How do you avoid cooking viand? Sabi niya, we cook. No, I heard you in the ayas. Okay, you were there. This is what we do. We have a special menu for the Sabbath. Which means, sabi ko, what is the special menu? The viand that doesn't spoil easily. Ah, may mga ulam pala na hindi madaling mapanis. Katulad ng mga pinirito. Ayan. Pero pag nilagyan ng maraming kamatis, yung sabaw, Ilang oras lang, hindi na siya maganda. According to Gandhi from Sri Lanka, I will, tuturuan daw niya ako mag -anon. Sabi, ito si Ayas Kabasa. You have to hide in Angola. Auntie Eve says, your grandfather also was very strict. He wraps the caldero with newspaper. Uh, rain from HCBN says, we cook beans on Friday and the rice is not easily spoiled. In Pinamalayan, GM says, uh, we don't need to be offshoot. To do this one because this is our official statement. Mam De Gracia says, Mam Jade Intai avoids by just fasting. Yeah, magaling pala mag fasting si Mam Jade. And Mrs. Baro says, kaya daw yan kahit na ano, fellowship. And itong si ano, Sister Tanya Zaitz, when sabi niya, when I came to the Philippines, I was so shocked. Everybody is cooking on the Sabbath. When we were baptized in Ukraine, before we were baptized, we were taught to cook food before the Sabbath. Sabi ko, how do you do it? I cook everything Thursday night because his, her work is until Friday evening. So Thursday night, she puts in the ref and Sabbath, she just microwaves. Mam Kina De Castro says her grandfather, ayan also, PYC, we tried also, PYC Bicol also, grocery store, marami naman canned dyan. Yung mga canned, kahit ilang buwan pa yan, hindi mapanis. And, ano pa, 
So pinapicturan ko, I asked my friend to take picture of the cafeteria in Ukraine. You know what they serve? Oy, hindi makita dyan. Bread. Yung bread, ilang araw yan bago mapanis. Yan. So there are many examples. <clears throat> Pastor Frederick Paul demonstrates how to use tamarind rice. I found out he doesn't also cook on the Sabbath. And, and I ask, so there are many scientific uh, references also. Yan. But don't worry. Okay. Pastor from Thailand, she, they taught that to their family and they taught that to the women's ministry. Sheila, who is in the other country, they are doing it. This is what we did in the retreat of Ayas, a Southern Asia community led by Pastor Frederick Paul. We cooked everything, put it in ref, and heated them on the Sabbath. Yan, et cetera, et cetera. There are many, many things we can do. <coughs> now, for the theology. Oh, sorry. Ano nangyari? Uh, I am lost. Sir, can you click, ano? Cooking for Seventh-day Adventists. <coughs> Sabbath cooking for Seventh-day Adventists. The document po. In the Bible, it says, when the Israelites came out of Egypt, in God told them, tomorrow is the rest day of the... So this is what we're going to see. It's official documents, Bible, SOP, and church documents. We will look at the Bible, SOP, and official documents, okay? From the Bible, it says, tomorrow is the rest. This is in Exodus 16, 20. Bake, that's which you will bake. Seed, that's you will seed. Bake means uh, bake. Seed means pakuluan. And the remainder, the remainder or the which remain that you lay up till the morning and you eat tomorrow. But some people did not understand. I was wondering, after getting out of the Egypt, the Lord, even before giving Ten Commandments, the Lord immediately said, don't cook on the Sabbath. The first test, hindi yang para paikot-ikot pa ang Diyos. The first test, even before giving Ten Commandments, because Ten Commandments is in Exodus 20, this is Exodus 16. So, some people did not understand what God was saying, and the Lord scolded Moses. It was not Moses scolding the Israelites. It was God scolding Moses. In verse 28, he says, The Lord said to Moses, How long will you refuse to keep my commandments? Whose commandments? Is it Moses' commandments or God's commandments? God's commandments. God was scolding Moses. So what was the command? The command was, do not cook or cook on Friday. Do not cook on the Sabbath. There is a Bible verse which is very confusing in this topic because it says, on the first day, there will be a holy convocation. On the seventh day, there will be a holy convocation. On this day, no man should do any work except that which is for food. And some people use that verse to, to say, aha, the Bible permits us to cook on the seventh day. But if you look at that chapter, that first day convocation and seventh day convocation is about feast of unleavened bread. It is the seventh day of the feast of unleavened bread. If you look at the Jewish calendar, it is on the 14th day of the first month. And the first day of the year doesn't start necessarily on Sunday. Therefore, that is not necessarily the Sabbath, seventh day of the Sabbath. It is the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So the Bible doesn't contradict itself if you read it properly. In fact, if you can find anybody who cooks on the Bible on the Sabbath, then I will be interested in knowing. <clears throat> okay, how about in SOP? Ellen G. White says, those who neglect to prepare for the Sabbath. Aha! The technique is preparation. If we fail to prepare, we will go hungry or we will transgress. Uy, I accidentally pressed something. Ano napindot ko? Yan. Those who neglect 
to prepare food on the Sabbath, on the sixth day, and who cook upon the Sabbath violate the fourth commandment and are transgressors of God's law. Very clear. <clears throat> on Friday, let the preparation be completed. See that the clothing is ironed and uh, yan, lahat yan. Pre preparing of garments. Cooking on the Sabbath should be avoided. That is counsels to the church. But it is not therefore, oh, this is the cooking, uh, the, no, heating. <clears throat> cooking on the Sabbath should be avoided, but it is not therefore necessary to eat cold food. In cold weather, the food prepared should be heated. Pwedeng magpainit. Pero, may natakluban dyan, friends. The food prepared the day before. Ah, the food prepared the day before. Bakit mo ipapainit kung bagong luto? E, pwede naman pagluto. Kung pwede magluto sa Sabado, ba't ka magpapainit? E, bagong luto yun eh. So, ang sinasabi pala dito, in the sentence, the food prepared the day before. Yung niluto ngung kahapon nung Friday, yun ang ipapainit. Minsan ginagamit, sometimes some people use this as an excuse. Aha, if you can heat, why not cook? But if you read the actual sentence, it should be the food prepared the day before. Oh, So if some theologian, some layman, some groups, they come here and tell you like this, like this, show them the official statements. Because there are three things, pastors, layman, whoever cannot contradict. First, the Sabbath. Second, the health message. Everybody who contradicts the health message ends up in the emergency room. <laughs> And then, the sanctuary message. All theologians who contradict the sanctuary message, tinatanggal yung kanilang ministerial license. So, we cannot contradict the health message, the Sabbath, and the uh, sanctuary doctrine. What about the church official documents? Adventist.org, information, official statements, documents, article, Sabbath observance. The buying and preparation of food, the readying of clothes, and other necessities will be done before the sundown. Next, AdventistBiblicalResearch.org <coughs> Guidelines. Sabi naman ng iba, guidelines lang yan. Oh, guidelines ito sa pagsunod, hindi sa pagsuway. Ga the buying and preparation is the same document actually. That's why it, the wordings is the same. But they are available in three sources. That means our church is really serious. What else? In the yellow book, Fundamental Beliefs, even the, uh, di ba may yellow na Fundamental Beliefs, 27, and now there is also the blue one, the small one, it is saying there, on this day, the bills who make the family should prepare food so that, okay. And then in uh, Adventist Mission, last year, or the other year, sabi nung, ano, friends, sabi nung, the husband was not an Adventist. Sabi niya, I don't want to be an Adventist. I don't want to eat stale food. Anong stale food sa Tagalog? Bahaw. Bahaw. Ayaw daw niya kumain ng bahaw. Kaya ayaw niya mag-Adventist. So I was wondering, this non-Adventist African, he knows that Adventists eat bahaw. But, dinamahan siya nung asawa niya. Sabi niya, e, kung di mo ako mahal, sige, uh, basta ako punta sa church. After several months, nagpabinyag na itong si I know, husband. So, the husband now eats bahaw. Sa Tagalog po, in your CLC Bible, ah, uh, ito pala, once a time, once upon a time, I went to, ah, uh, you know, you know, friends, uh, doon, sinesermon ito, naririnig ko sa church. I hear this from small preachers. But when I heard it from the office, officers of the church, from people with PhD, when I look at the official documents, because I want to research, when you research, you do everything positive. You research for everything negative. And then you weigh them. So that yung kadibate mo, alam mo kung saan papasok. Ay, hindi ko ma... Ako, I grew up in the Adventist church. My parents were working there since I was small, since I was born. I, I went to school in the Adventist school. I know all the excuses we know. But I was looking for the official excuse. I could not find any official document which allows us to go on the Sabbath. The Lord has not allowed our church to vote in official documents. So what we hear from some people, what we hear from some elders, from pastors, I looked for the written 
Wala doon. Anong sasabihin ko sa inyo? Yung narinig ko o yung nababasa ko? Of course, I want to be faithful. And those of you who want to be faithful, let's continue reading. Paghahanda para sa Sabado. Yan, 1968 by North Philippine Union Mission Panoon. Anong sabi dyan? Yan, ganyan yan ka, ano. Siyempre, hindi natin mabasa. Pero sabi dyan ay ihanda na ang mga pagkain. Ihanda na ng nanay ang mga pagkain. And sa ano ko yan natagpuan, friends, I found that in Magallanes Church. I just walked into the church and the woman teaching the Sabbath school was reading that old, old document. And exactly when I came in, he was, she was reading about the Sabbath. And I opened the CLC Bible. In the last pages, it says, Anong tagubilin ang ibinigay ng Diyos kaugnay sa kani ng kanilang pagkain sa araw na dumating ang Sabbath? And they just quoted Exodus 16.23. And yan, kaniyang sinabi sa kanila, ito ang inuutos ng Panginoon, bukas ay Sabbath. Ayan. And that is according to the CLC Bible na pinapamigay natin sa mga bagong binyag. Finished. The most difficult, can you, can we return to the fundamental beliefs? I don't know where I, where it went. Siguro, new, merong folder dyan na fundamental beliefs, hover. Tapos yung index.html. So this is the most difficult sermon to preach. Because it has something to do with the Sabbath and it has something to do with our food. You know, food is very sensitive when, because it has become an idol. That's why you mga, you know Moses, those who know how to fast, the Lord uses them to save many people. See, Jesus fasted for 40 days. Moses fasted for 40 days. Elijah fasted for 40 days. But Ellen G. White says, we are not called to fast 40 days. So wag kayo magpa-fast ng 40 days, ha? Ano lang? One day lang. Okay, we are done with the Sabbath. <clears throat> That is the most difficult thing for me to say because I don't want to hurt you. I don't want you to give to have a hard time. But I know that in your heart, you want to obey. And you don't know how to obey because you are afraid that your food will spoil. So the Lord, I think, class, I observe, ah, class, sorry, sorry. I think, my brothers and sisters, that the Lord is revealed, is uh, uh, ano restoring the truth, the seventh-day truth. Because I have observed from my church officers, from official documents, I think it is time to remember to keep the Sabbath holy. That's why maybe the first word of the Sabbath is the Sabbath commandment is to remember. Because the Lord knows the Filipinos will forget. Next, <clears throat> stewardship. Oh, you don't have problem in stewardship because I saw your report. Your type is almost bigger than PIC. Uh, the Lord has blessed you. But uh, hindi daw yun paramihan ng, ano, ng pera. Pa kuntian ng natira. Kasi when Jesus saw the woman with two mites, Jesus said, you know, that woman gave more than the people in CAA and in PIC. When Jesus says something, even if it's not true, it becomes true. So how do we explain? Jesus said, mas marami pang binigay yung women with two mites. Eh, pag kinumpute mo yun, mali naman. But Ellen G. White explained it, that everybody who was influenced by that woman, even now, if you are influenced to give offering and tithe, because of that, that example of that woman with two mites, that money you gave is also credited to the woman. So the woman really influenced a lot. Somebody, one pastor said, the currency of heaven is influence. The more people we can influence for righteousness, the more rich we are in heaven. <clears throat> Christian behavior, ayan. Ito na. Mahirap din to, friends. According to these fundamental beliefs, where is my mouse? Ah, tatamaan kayo dito. Wake up. Where is my mouse? It says here that our amusement and entertainment should meet the highest standard of Christian taste and beauty. I have a straight question. Is boxing 
included in the amusement and entertainment that is of the highest standards of Christian taste and beauty? Ah. Okay, I don't know where you get your answer. <laughs> but according to the student handbook, bawal manuntok. Di ba? Pag may nanuntok sa church, sa amin, pag may sinuntok, if you are a worker and you punch somebody, you will be suspended for three months. Students who punch somebody will be suspended also. How about if you are happy for the people who are punching? Oh. According to Romans 1.32, not only those who do, but those who have pleasure in them that do will be in danger of judgment. Yung natutuwa, siyempre yung nagsasabong, pero pag natutuwa ka dun sa nagsasabong, mali na yun. Eh kung tao yung nagsasabong. Oh, mahirap rin yan i-sermon sa Philippines kasi sikat si Pacquiao dito. But that is what is written, our amusement and entertainment should meet the highest standard of Christian taste and beauty. Wag na tayo manood ng mga agawan ng asawa, ng mga agawan ng kotse, at saka mga hindi naman totoo. Because it says in the Bible, Philippians 4.8, whatever is true, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good report, think of these things. Pag pinanood natin, when we watch something, it goes to our mind. And that's what, that's it becomes our nature. So let us lock our channel to... 3ABN and to Hope Channel na lang. Huwag na tayo manood dun sa iba kasi maligaw tayo dun. The nice thing about the Bible is the Bible says, Husbands, love your wife. Oh, Ladies, do you like that verse? But it also says, Wives, submit to your husband. Husbands, do you like that verse? Okay. Very good. So no more uh, quarrel. Children, obey your parents. Parents, do you like that verse? What if your parents is not in the Lord? The Bible says, obey your parents in the Lord. Oh. If the, your parents are telling you things that are not according to the Bible, you still respect them. You respect them. I respectfully disagree. Okay. Because the Bible says otherwise. But we have to respect even our parents even when they are wrong. Jesus Christ is our high priest. Ayan. And 1844, he is. We are Adventists. When is Jesus coming? We don't know. We know not the hour. But someday in the future, according to Ellen White, it will be announced. Those who are not believers will hear it like thunder. But those who believe, we will hear the exact date and the exact hour of the second coming. Now, we don't know. So if you compute all the Bible, you might come up with 6,000 years. And if you Google, or if you type in LNG White writings, 6,000 years, you might find out that that is the probation of Satan. And you might also find out that 1,000 years is the rest in heaven. So you might be thinking 6,000 is the history week, great week of history, 6,000 years. But don't compute because we don't know the computation. Huwag niyo sabihin, 2019, lagpas na. 4,000 years before Jesus, 2,000, 6,000 na. So malapit na. We are sure na malapit na, but we are not sure about the date or the hour or the time or the month. So let us not compute, but let us always be ready for the second coming. It is nearer. Don't worry, even if we die now, as long as we are serving God and we confess all our sins, the Lord will resurrect us. When I read the Bible and I read the book, The Great Controversy, I was really amazed with the martyrs. How come they were rich, but they served God? When si, ano, si Nicodemus, he was rich, but when he learned about salvation, he finished all his money supporting the disciples. Why? Because when you find the pearl of great price, sabi ni Ellen White, 
Heaven is so cheap. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Bakit ang mura-mura lang daw ng langit? Kasi nakita niya yung langit. He, he saw heaven. It's so really very, very nice. Very, very nice. And when she compared it to everything we have to give up here on earth, she said it is very cheap. There is nothing actually we have to give up. All of the sins only for heaven. That's why it's very nice. Resurrection. Jesus can resurrect us. And we have the millennium and the end of sin. So even if we serve God all our lives, 70 years, 90 years, 80 years, no problem. The Lord will refund us with 1,000 years plus trillions and gagillions of years. And we will be in the new earth where there is no pollution and no traffic. Amen? No need for air conditioning and no... Ano? Ano bang mga problema nyo dito? No problems. Basta. Hindi ko lang alam kung may internet dun. Live streaming. Di ba yung ano sa... Paano nakita ng mga propeta yung sinulat dito? Naka-live stream yun. Write the vision. Habakkuk 2. Vision yun. Live streaming. Video from heaven. Di ba sir? Okay. Tapos na po. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you Lord for the truth that you have given our church. We ask that you forgive us from the sins that we have committed because we didn't know what was right and wrong. Be merciful to us, Lord. We are like sheep. We don't know the left and the right. Please give us wisdom and understanding for righteousness' sake. Help us to teach the truth and to be faithful, Lord. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for my brothers and sisters here who love you more than their opinions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ang pagiging katiwala ay naghahatid sa atin pabalik sa Diyos. Manumbalik kayo sa akin ay ako'y manunumbalik sa inyo, sabi ng Panginoon ng mga kubo. Ngunit inyong sinasabi sa ano kami manunumbalik, nananakawan baga ng tao ang Diyos, gayon may nananakawan niya ako. Ngunit inyong sinasabi sa ano ka namin ninanakawan. Sa mga ikasampung bahagi at mga handog, kayo'y mga sumpa ng sumpa sapagkat inyo akong ninanakawan sa makatuwid bagay nitong buong bansa. Dalhin ninyo ang buong ikasampung bahagi sa kamalig upang magkaroon ng pagkain sa aking bahay at subukin ninyo ako ngayon sa bagay na ito. Sabi ng Panginoon, ng mga kubo, kung hindi ko bubuksan ang mga dungawan sa langit ay uhulog ko sa inyo ang isang pagpapala na walang sapat na silid na kalalagyan. Malakyas 3.7 hanggang Gis. Kadalasan ay atin lamang binabasa ang Malakyas 3.9 hanggang Gis sapagkat yaon ay naglalaman ang pangako na sumusunod sa matapat na katiwala. Kung gayon paman, ating binabasa ang mga talata bago at pagkatapos ng isang talata Karaniwan ay pinalalawak ang ating pagkaunawa sa mga talata sa katanungan. Halimbawa, kung ating babalikan ang Malakyas 3.7 at tayo'y nagsisimula doon, ating makikita na ang pagkawasak ng Israel ay naiwasan sa pamamagitan ng kahabagan ng Diyos. Ngunit nagsalita ang Diyos sa kanila tungkol sa kanilang kasalanan at tinilig na sila'y manumbalik sa Kanya nais nilang malaman kung paano nila magagawa yon. Itinuro sa kanila ng Diyos na kanilang ninakawan siya sa ika, ikapu at sa mga handog. At noon namanhik siya sa kanila sa talatang 9 na ibalik ang buong ikasampung bahagi sa kamalig at sinabi sa kanila susunod ang pagpapala. Sa maitli pananalita, ang maging matapat na katiwala ay isang paraan para sa Israelita at gayon din sa atin na manunumbalik sa, sa Diyos. Ang pagiging katiwala ay pagsamba. 
Yaon ay ang pagkilala na ang Diyos ay manlalalang, tagapaglaan at tumutustos ng lahat at inilalagay siya sa una sa lahat, kabilang na ang ating pananalapi, itinuturo din na ang ating mga puso sa ay kanya. Panawagan, sana'y manumbalik tayo sa Diyos ngayon sa pamamagitan ng pagiging matapat na katiwala. Ating pong ibigay sa Panginoon ang ating kapo at gabayan tayo ng mga diakono. Panginoon namin Diyos Ama na nasa langit, maraming salamat po sa umagang ito na kung saan sa aming pagkagising nakita namin ang liwanag na iyong nilikha. Salamat sa inyong hininga na pinagbalinalik nyo sa amin. Maraming salamat Panginoon. At sa araw na ito ng Sabat, nagpapasalamat kami dahil inyong pinagkalup sa amin ito upang maalala namin kayo na kayo ang Panginoon Diyos na lumikha sa amin. Maraming salamat Panginoon sa pag-ibig na inyong binigay sa amin. Panginoon, patawarin niyo rin po kami bawat isa sa aming mga nagawang pagkakasala, mga pagkukulang sa iyo. Mahalin namin kayo at salamat sa mga salita at palaala na upang ikatatatag namin sa buhay namin habang kami naghihintay sa iyong pagdating. Panginoon, narito po ang handog at ikapo na aming ibinabalik sa iyo. Maraming salamat sa bahaging ito. Basbasan mo ito ng iyong banal na espiritu, magamit at maayos at may palaganap ang iyong mga salita sa ibabaw na itong lupa. Nang sa pagdating niyo, makita nila kayo, Panginoon. Narito po ang aming dalangin at pasasalamat na kung saan sa pagsapit uli ng unang araw, gabayan kami ng inyong banal na espiritu at manguna lagi kayo sa puso namin. Ito po ang aming dalangin at pasasalamat sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Isus. Amen.
Give me the Bible, hymn number 272, Our Father in heaven, we ask that you forgive us from all our sins, Lord. Help us to be humble, Lord. Forgive us from our pride. Forgive us from our, our egos, Lord. Be merciful to us, Lord. Without you, Lord, we are nothing. Help us break us, Lord, so that you can use us for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Church Business Meeting at 2 p.m. Salamat po.